Hi guys, it's Eleanor. So we are finally playing Star Academy. Um, before we start, I want to give a big thank you to a YouTuber called Silent Watcher Ka. <laughs> I can't pronounce that right, but I'll leave a link down in the description. Because what she did was to make a video explaining how to make the game in English. Because these games are not originally uh, released in English. So you have to download them in a different language and then do some stuff with the files and then get it in English. And she made a really good video explaining how to do that. So I will leave a download link to all of the games in the description as well as the link to her video. So let's get started. I'm going to play these games as Lisa. I feel like these games are actually supposed to be played as Lisa because of the different personalities. Like Britney is the diva and Kiyomi is the dancer and then Lisa is the rock star and this really works. Okay, Headmaster Maurice Bergen of Yorick Star Aca Yorick's Academy of Performing Arts Cordically uh, invites you to the annual edition for the class next year. The edition will take place on Monday 22nd and Tuesday 23rd of May at the school by process of gradual elimination. The success oh, <laughs> this is tongue twisters already, okay? I'm not used to speaking English consistently. Uh, candidates should be able to demonstrate considerable talent uh, in an utmost dedication to the fine arts of singing, dancing and performing. I look forward to see if you have what it takes. Sincerely yours, Maurice Bergen, Headmaster of Star Academy. Okay, so this is Lisa's room actually. I really hope that when we get to see Lisa's room in SSO it will look, look something like this, but I really don't think so. <laughs> She's all changed now, so. Okay, let's get ready for school. I really like this outfit though, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep the outfit. But what's wrong with her pants though? <laughs> Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> so, we're ready. To school, let's go. So, I have actually played through this game a couple of times already, so I know who to talk to. Uh, we are supposed to talk to uh, the janitor, who is standing over here. Grimp, is that his name? I think so. Grimp Grump. <laughs> Welcome to the Scott. Uh, welcome to the Star Academy Auditions, Lisa. Your paperwork seems to be in order. I see that you have spent more s some serious time in front of the mirror before coming here, but looks alone won't get you far. You need to be at your very best singing and dancing like you've never done before to have the slightest chance to make it through the auditions. That is why we give everyone the possibility to polish their performance before the auditions. Go see Mrs. Graham in the music room or Miss Rita in the dance room and they will help you out. Okay, so, um, oh, there's uh, Kiyomi and uh, Brittany. Let's talk to them. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. I'm Kiyomi. Sorry if I sound a bit tired, but Miss Rita has just been working me har so hard. I'm aching in muscles I didn't even know I had. She's a bit of a drill surgeon, but don't let that scare you. She's in the dance room just across the hall. I don't actually know how to pronounce her name. It could I, I'm always saying Kiyomi because that's what I'm used to, but it might as well be Kiyomi. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brittany. I've just been to see Mrs. Graham to practice some scales, and she really is an old spinster. Even worse than the rumors I'd heard before. I don't think she has even heard of Madonna of Cri or Christina Angelera. You'll find her in the second floor. Good luck. Yeah, Brittany too. Uh... I don't know if it's Brittany or Brittany or what. It's original or Swedish, so I guess it's supposed to be pronounced Brittany, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's go see Mrs. Graham. What's that her name? Yeah. There we are. Welcome to auditions for next year's class at the Jorvik School of Performing Arts, young lady. But look at you. How are you dressed? Hey, <laughs> I chose this outfit. <laughs> Not that respectable to say the least. I don't as understand your what your parents were thinking laying you out of the house like that. But never mind, you are here to warm up before the first lesson uh, session of the auditions, are you not? Better get started then. Hurry up now. There are others waiting, you know. Get up on that stage and we'll do some exercises. Well, she's rude. <laughs> I don't like your attitude, ma'am. Look at the time, it's 9 o'clock and you have to go. 
I want you to stay, but it's getting late. We both heard mommy say, boy, you better go now. Time's running, summer's coming. Don't put up a fight. Time is up for tonight. There we go. So, fair warning, I'm probably not going to talk during the performances because I have to hit the notes and all of that stuff. I know. Splendid. You might have a shred of talent after all. Wouldn't have thought it when I saw you. <laughs> you are indeed a diamond in the rough. Not the roughest diamond I've seen, mind you, but close enough. If you've not see been to see Miss Graham... Oh, I thought she was... Oh, God. Miss... No. What? That's Miss Graham. <laughs> what? I would recommend you do that now. Otherwise, just wait in the school hall. Now off you go. Because that's Miss Graham. That, the other one is Miss Frida, right? Right? <laughs> wow, that must be a bug. Or something. I've never noticed that. This is actually my first time reading through the English dialogue. I've always just read them in uh, Norwegian. Because that's what I grew up with. So I don't actually know what's going to happen in this gameplay. So that's going to be interesting. What we got here? You think you can... You are going to be able to dance in those clothes, girl? Let me tell you something. If you can pull that off, I'm going to be impressed. And I'm not easily impressed. An elephant in the yard wouldn't even... Wouldn't have me raising so much as an eyebrow. I'm ready when you are. Bring it on, girl. <laughs> okay, we'll bring it on. There we go. What you gotta say about that? <laughs> Fabulous, never thought you'd get through it, but you might have some rhythm running through your veins after all. Girl, <laughs> I have a name, you know? Now don't get this, n now don't let this get to your head and be sure to get back here later for more practice. Otherwise you'll land on your ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> land on your ass during the auditions. Trust me on that, girl. If you have not been to see Miss Graham... Yeah, see, Miss Graham! She calls the other one Miss Graham. This is Miss Rita. <laughs> it is time for that now, otherwise just wait in the school hall. They must have copied the dialogue or something. That's really weird, actually. Wait in the hall? I don't have any quests. Oh, okay. Attention all, attention all. This is Mr. Grimp speaking. The reverse, the revered, revered, revered Boris Bergen, headmaster of Star Academy, will soon be making his welcome ad welcome address to the participants in the audition for the next year's class. Please make your way to the school auditorium immediately. I repeat, please make your way to the school auditorium immediately. Okay, well, let's go there then. So when I was young, I uh, had this play this game in Norwegian, right? And I have two older sisters and. Um, <laughs> to avoid any arguments, we always uh, had to choose one girl each. And I was left with Kiyomi, but ironically, I like her voice more. <laughs> Sorry, but this seek is taken. I'm afraid you'll have to find somewhere else to sit. Well, let's just sit. I, I heard you the first time, relax. <laughs> let's just sit next to Brittany then. Sure, I'm Brittany, by the way. Didn't we meet before in the corridor? Sit down, this is going to be really exciting, isn't it? I can't wait to get up on the stage myself to do my first audition. Okay. Mm. Welcome everyone. I'm glad to see so many of you here today. Unfortunately, not all of you will be here when this is over. The Eurovic Academy of Performing Arts is a school to which a few are called and even fewer are chosen. We pride ourselves by selecting only the very finest, most extra extraordinary gifted young men and women to attend this school. Over the years we have gradu graduated dozens of world-class pianists. 
platinum selling rock stars and Oprah Be yeah I can't pronounce that word <laughs> if you are selected you will receive the tutoring of myself Miss Rita Mrs. Graham and Mr. Grimp to develop your talents to perfection those of you who are not admitted do not consider this a failure consider it an honor to have been chosen to come here and participate in these additions I'm sorry there's gonna be a lot of stirring is in this gameplay <laughs> we sure are honored to have had you now we the jury are going to prepare ourselves for the first round of eliminations don't forget to bring the song you have chosen to perform with you either on tape or as note sheets we will contact you when it is your turn let's have a nice and fair audition good luck <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, yeah we don't have a song Lisa for some reason forget to bring a song <laughs> okay let's actually talk to Lilith because she's right here ha 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 loser I think you'd better get right back home to mommy and cry your heart out don't think that I'm gonna help you one down as they say one down <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of iconic. You need a villain in these games. <laughs> Oops, that's not good news. Not good at all. They are really strict about these things, you know. Perhaps you should try talk to Kevin. He is he's in my class and kind of a musical genius. I know that he's trying out for Star Academy this year. He might be able to help. Oh yeah, we're seeing Kevin! When I was young, I had this huge crush on Kevin. And I kind of still have, actually. <laughs> He's just, he has such a good personality, I think. He's a great friend and he helps us out throughout this game. He's the only one who kind of sticks around throughout the games without like spoiling everything. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and it, I think he looks so charming in this hat and all of the like hair strands sticking out. I don't know. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> I don't know. What? You forget to bring a song? That's not really smart, is it? But we all make mistakes and I suppose you wouldn't be here unless you were quite good you know what I think that I might have the exact right song for you but I don't have it recorded we could have done it in the studio but I don't have the I don't have the keys to the control room so we'll have to do it in the old-fashioned way why don't you go find a tape recorder and meet me in the music room and I'll tell you no, I'll make you I'll make you a tape using the keyboard they've got in there it's not the hottest one around, but uh, it will have to do. See you in there in a bit. See you there in a bit, yeah. This is going to be a big challenge. I mean, if I can't even read the dialogue, then this is going to be a long video. Um, I think we should actually talk to someone. Now, I know where to find this tape recorder, but if you haven't played these games, it's really interesting to like try to solve the puzzle and figure out where things are. Sorry to hear that, but good news that Kevin is helping you. He's a real stand-up guy and extremely talented at that, but uh, yeah. Right, that's what I said. <laughs> but try the library, you might find one there. See, so now we got a hint that there might be a tape recorder in the library, so let's check there. And yeah, I just so happen to know where the library is. <laughs> you maybe, maybe you don't know where that is if you haven't played this before, but now you know. So that's the tape recorder. We found it. And now we go back to the recording studio. Or the music room, whatever you like to call it. <laughs> Fair warning, I am going to run out of things to say in this gameplay. Um, I'm surprised I've lasted this long. <laughs> okay, here we go. Great, I knew you could do it. Now let's just hope that you sing with the same dedication that you go looking for tape recorders. What? <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. Let me know when you are ready to get started. Well, I am ready. You ready? Okay. If you just get on the stage, I'll connect my keyboard to the tape recorder so that I can teach you, teach you the song at the same time as we make the tape. Since I'm plugging straight into the tape recorder, your song won't be on the tape so it will be perfectly fine to use at the audition so just get onto the stage i'm ready whenever you are okay i think this is where there's a bug i believe that she has britney's voice when singing this i'm pretty sure
So yeah, like I said, that was Britney's voice. That's a bug. <laughs> I really... I don't think that there are as many bugs on the other ones. I've just... Or maybe I just never really asked before. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. I guess my first impression was right after all. You've got quite an amazing voice. Let's hope the jury agrees with me. Here is the tape for the audition. Don't lose it because I don't have time to do this again. See you soon. Hopefully we'll be classmates at Star Academy in the fall. Oh. Is this Lisa? This is Mr. Grimp. Where are you? We have been paging you through the PA system for the last 10 minutes. The jury is ready for your first performance. Head down to the auditorium and report to Morris Bergen immediately or we'll have to cut you from the schedule. Yeah, so we're late for audition. We have to hurry. Here we go. Welcome, Lisa. A little late, are we? Yeah. <laughs> I know that very few pop stars are known for are known for their pink punctuality, but some of the members of the jury will fight tardi tardiness. Um, an extremely f an extreme flaw, and I'm afraid that that might uh, cloud their judgment of your performance. But don't let that stress you. If you are meant to be at Star Academy, fate will see you through this. Trust me. Just give your tape to Mr. Grimp. We are ready when you are, okay? Let's give it to him then. So you made it. Good. I'll just put the tape into this area. I'll start it as soon as you get up on stage. Okay, so this is it. This is our first performance. There we go. 53 perfect, too great. Ah. Oh. Those are good stats. We have any quests? Oh. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> we'll just go then. Yeah, I think this is the time where we have to wait in line to get the times or the date. Uh, uh, yeah, time for, <laughs> for the next uh, audition, the next round. Sorry. <laughs> Attention, attention, this is Mr. Grimp speaking. The first audition sessions are now at the at an end and we break for lunch. The afternoon sessions will begin at 2 o'clock. Please check your slot in the afternoon's audition schedule with me at the reception. Okay, so that's what line is for, like I said. Uh, we're gonna talk to Brittany. Phew, this is going to take forever, don't you think, Lisa? Just look at this line. I hope that I don't get an early slot. I... Oh, okay. I would really like to have the time to get down in the mall and do some shopping. I'd hate to be in the afternoon session in the same clothes. I would feel so lame, don't you think? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's Britney. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. I couldn't avoid overhearing your conversation. And don't and can't stress enough how glad I would be to help you out. Pretty girls deserve to look good at audition. Even though I'm not sure you can improve what's perfect. Why don't you give me your names and phone numbers, and I'll text you the times for your audition. I'm Lance, by the way. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> that sounds great, don't you think, Lisa? Let's go down to the mall and do some serious shopping. I just need to run past my house to see to tell mom and dad that I made the first cut. See you at the mall. Okay. So now we're going shopping. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. There are actually some good clothes in this game, which is surprising, considering that it's, it's like 14 years ago. This game is from 2006, so... And now we're gonna see how the Jorvik City Mall looked originally. So, yeah, it's pretty similar to how it is in SSO, but, but we can't go up the, like, uh, escalator? That's what it's called? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> 
There you are. Mom and Dad were so excited when I told them that I, ma that I made it through the first selection. I really need to find some nice new things to wear. Let's meet at the cafe opposite of the stage when we're done. Okay, so we're gonna shop a little. And uh, like as you can see, the, the stores are not actually open. So we actually just click on this thing to shop. And then you just choose the, choose the store. I really like this streeter store. I think it has some really cool clothes. Uh, and that's uh, especially for one reason, and that is this shirt, which is the Miscreants shirt. I love this shirt. And then there's also this. I have to buy both of them. Oh, that's a really cool outfit, actually. Okay, let's wear that. <laughs> I feel like the old Lisa is really who I am in real life, or who I want to be in real life. Oh. Hi, Lisa. That smile on your face tells me you found something that you're really, really pleased with. Good for you. Well, I'm heading home to grab a quick shower and freshen up a bit before my audition. Good luck to you all. This is so exciting. Hi there. I'm glad you, uh, to hear that you made it through the first cut. You deserved it. No, I'm not sure it had something to do with me, but I'm glad that you liked the song. By the way, I have some new ideas for it that I've been working on in the studio. Mr. Green plant me the keys after my first audition. It would be great if you could meet me at the back at the music room and try them out. Uh, see if you like them. You know, it it is never bad to change your performance a bit for the second audition. Not more. Ooh, that's so sweet of you. Kevin wrote my song a while back, so I'm quite well prepared. You know, me and Kevin, we jam together quite a lot. Plenty of late nights in the studio. You know what? Why don't you meet me down at the dance room and we can work on a routine for your intro. It's important to catch the jury from the first beat and having known Kevin for quite a long time, not in a bi biblical sense perhaps, even if we <laughs> even if you might have wished to, I guess there's a fairly long instrumental intro. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean... There are so many examples of how this version of the game fits the best. Because uh, Kiyomi and Kevin were best friends from before, we see that in the comics. I'm not going to go too into detail about that because I'm probably going to publish the comics as well, but yeah, this version is the one to play it in. Hi Lisa, I hope the shopping was great. The slot, the slot time for your audition is 6.45pm. Good luck, Lance. Okay, so now we have three quests. And if I remember correctly, we have to do them in a specific order. Because um, Kiyomi needs the CD from Kevin before uh, before we can work on the choreography. So we are going to go to the studio first, the music room. People are still waiting in line. <laughs> I thought everyone had gotten their uh, scheduled times or something. That's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> Maybe they're waiting in line just for fun. Ooh. <laughs> there you are. I thought that you'd never show up. It wouldn't be the first time a cool girl stood me up. Oh, that's so sad. No. But you're here and that's what counts. If you get on the stage, I'll show you what I thought we'd do. Don't forget to remind me to burn a CD with, with music for you afterwards. Yeah, remember back in the day when we needed CDs? <laughs> Those were the times.
Okay, so here we go. Let's talk to Kevin. No, no. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't expect to find you two lovebirds here. Pretty as a picture in pastel. Pathetic. I'll leave you two to practice your own your honey dripping pop. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna try. That was great. I get this tingling sensation down my spine when I hear you sing. And look at the hairs on my arm. They salute you. Here's the CD. I've got to hurry off my audition now, but if you want to stay and rehearse, here's the key. I'll tell Mr. Grimp that you're okay. Don't forget to look up, lock up when you leave and drop the key in my locker. It's number XX. I'm fairly sure they're supposed to be 57. <laughs> I have no idea why I remember that. Maybe I remember wrong. No, it's 57. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we'll see you later. Okay, so now we're done practicing and we're going to return the key to Kevin's locker. Why don't we have like jumping in SSO? That is really weird. We have had jumping in all of the other games, but not in SSO. That is such a basic feature. Okay, let's see if this is actually locker 57. Yeah, it is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of that. <laughs> now let's go down to Kiyomi and work on the choreography. This actually, this is actually a pretty good game if you haven't played it before, because there's a lot of good puzzles and you have to do quests in a specific order and all of that stuff. You have, actually have to pay attention to what people are saying. Even though when I was little, I didn't really pay attention to the story at all. I just did whatever. I read the quests and then I just did it. <laughs> no, no. Hey girl, time to shake those hips a bit. I just passed through this. I just passed the second cut, so I'm full of energy and ready to help you do it too. Are you ready? Let's get down and dirty. Show those lame elderly people on the jury that you've got some serious rhythm. Get up on that mirror, to that mirror, and follow my lead. See, that's kill me. There's only one way to play this game <laughs> in my eyes.
This game is actually fairly easy because as you probably saw or have noticed already is that uh, the dance moves are the same over and over. Time to go to addition. Yeah, I was already going. And uh, the song is pretty slow as well, so yeah, it's uh, ba it's definitely a starting game. Good place to start, <laughs> obviously, the first game. The second one is so much harder. You'll see that when I do that playthrough. Additions closed. We have now finished the first day of the additions for next year's class. A big congratulations to, the do to those of you who made it. You know who you are. For those of you who didn't make it, don't be ashamed. You did your best and that is all that counts. If you practice hard, you might make it next year. Morris Bergen. Okay, so we have missed our addition. Panic attack. Oh god, that is... Are they serious? This was a different time. I don't know. Brittany. Dana. I missed my slot. <laughs> that damn Lance is set me the wrong time. Don't talk to me again unless you know something more. <laughs> wow. Let's talk to this guy. What? I'm sure Lance did it on purpose. He's such a bully and a rotten bastard. He's stolen all the girlfriends I've ever had. <laughs> I know. Uh, I haven't. I have no. Spelling mistake. <laughs> wow. That. Yeah, that one spelling mistake kind of annoys me though. Maybe I'm just very, like, um, strict on spelling, but I don't know. Uh, I have no idea where they went, but I'm gonna head down to Leonardo's for a Coco Mint Sunday Deluxe. You wanna come? We can trade cherries. <laughs> no, some other time then. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, okay, let's talk to this girl over here. I'm sorry to hear that you missed your audition slot, but the auditorium's been closed for quite a while. I heard Mr. Grimp mention to Morris Bergen that he was craving for a double jumbo bacon cheese tower burger with extra pickles. Mrs. Graham and Miss Rita seemed happy to join in as well, but I'm not sure why. No one has ever seen Miss Rita eat. What? That's... Wow, that's controversial. Um, okay. The times were different, I think, but that is really controversial. I get why Star Stable doesn't want to talk about this game anymore. Scary, isn't it? Yeah. Girls, if you want to lose weight, that is not the way to do it. Healthy diet and exercise, that's the way to go. You heard what? If they've gone to eat, I'm sure that they've gone to Leonardo's. Let's get down there and check it out. If they are there, we'll have to find a way to persuade Leonardo to let us get on stage and make that addition Lance cheated us out of. If the rooms are true, it wouldn't be the first time he cheated on someone either. Let's not give him the pleasure of cheating on us. Yeah, that's Lance. He's a flirty SSO too, isn't he? We have to assist him in his love life, like... Uh, I, I don't remember what, qu what the quests were, if they were like Valentine's Day quests, but... I remember that we have to help him send a love letter or something and help him meet his date. I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but they're keeping to his character though and that's good. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> Keep it up, SSO. You've made a habit of, out of this, haven't you? Always running late. As long as you don't hit any high notes that upset my stomach, I'll be fine. But it really isn't up to me. Oh yeah, so we're trying to convince them to give us a second chance, yeah. You had quite a voice. Disappointing that you can't keep her appointments. I'm not much for second chances. You had a golden opportunity and made a mess of yourself. You should be home and ashamed, not humiliating yourself and coming by coming here. A lady doesn't cry and I can definitely see tears in your eyes. Okay, I don't like you. You're mean. <laughs> You're really mean. This is just a young girl. Poor, poor Lisa. You know what, girl? It is great that you have a new dance routine, but it really isn't up to me. Well then, who it is? Oh, okay. <laughs> if you want to say, if you, if uh, what? Huh? <laughs> if you what you? S yeah, okay. I don't think this game was supposed to be released in English. If what you say is true, I think it is terrible. But I'm sure that Lance didn't do it on purpose. We should all be able to trust and rely on each other here at Star Academy. 
I see us as one big family. I can't see any harm in giving you a second chance if you can talk Leonardo into t letting you take the stage. But trust me when I say that these kids will be a harder car to please than us. If you can win their support, you can continue your audition tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's ask Leonardo for permission then. You're interested in performing? Yes, we do offer opportunities for Star Academy students that want to make a little extra on the side, but normally not on Mondays, Monday nights. But you know what? I'll make an exception today, but you don't get paid the first time, okay? Ah, well that was easy. In the spotlight. Hey, the second song called Spotlight. <laughs> Foreshadowing. There you go, are you happy now? <laughs> oh, we never got to know. Dawn of a new day. Get down to school, is it a good idea to change your clothes before you head down to school? Nobody wants to be seen in the same outfit, two outfits, two days in a row. <laughs> um, okay, well let's uh, give her the classic lace look then. Because I really like that one. There we go. You told me to change, so I did. <laughs> this is not the same outfit I wore yesterday. Now what? Um, okay, we'll just see what happens then. I don't remember all of this story, just saying. <laughs> attention all, attention all. This is Mr. Grimp speaking. I have bad news and bad news. Last night someone stole a lot of very expensive equipment from the studio in the music room, rendering it useless. The deed was performed by someone who knew the alarm codes and had access to the key. We at Star Academy hope that we we together can find the missing items, as well as those who did this. Until the equipment is returned, the music room will be locked and unaccessible only and, un and accessible only to students accompanied by a teacher. For those of you who are interested in knowing more about today's additions, please see Maurice Bergen in the auditorium. Over and out. So let's, um, let's talk to Kevin, hear what he has to say. It's no use. All of my work gone just because some damn stupid idiot decided to break into the studio. And of all the hard drives in there, they had to take mine. Why? 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 If I don't get it back, I can just skip this audition. Oh, poor guy. That's really sad, actually. Why him? It's like someone bullies him. Hey, Disco. Woof, woof. What? 
I think he's supposed to leave me somewhere, but come on. Yeah? Woof woof. Where? Okay, there we go. Lead me to wherever you want me to go. This dog is really smart. He always comes around like when someone needs help and shows you the way to whatever you're looking for. And look here. It leads us to the trash can and what do we find? You found Kevin's hard drive. Woof woof. That's nice. Let's talk to him again. Tell him we found his hard drive. What? You found it? Amazing! I know I knew I could No? But I know I could count on you. Uh, I knew I could count on you. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. I'm going to uh, get started working on stuff for your audition straight away. I'll call you when I'm ready. Nice. We're back on track. New day, new rules. And then burglary. Hmm. So let's hear what uh, Morris Bergen has to say. You know, I actually read somewhere, uh, or heard it somewhere, I don't remember, that this is actually uh, Mario's brother. You know, Mario the... Uh, uh, oh god, the guy at the... Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> the thing where you look at the skies. Oh my god, observatory. <laughs> Jesus. That was awkward. Yeah, he's his brother. <laughs> so uh, that means that Mario's last name is Bergen too. That's kind of interesting fact. Uh, Mario Bergen. So now we know. It is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> How can people d be so selfish? I will never understand it. Uh, but the show must go on. The show must always go on. And speaking about shows, that was quite a performance you put on yesterday. I'm glad I decided to give you a second chance. But today it is going to get even harder. Part of uh, part of the jury today uh, are these years graduate from Star Academy. They will be seated throughout the auditorium and they will uh, accept nothing but the very best. I also wanted to let you know that I spoke to Lance about the incident yesterday and he assured me that it was a mistake on his side. He seemed quite sad and to be honest with uh, he, he seemed quite sad to be honest with you. Oh, okay. So in order to avoid similar incidents, we will call each performer well in, adva in advance to your audition. Because this uh, this is one audition that you can't afford to miss. Yeah, well, that sounds much more fair, honestly. Oh, attention all, attention all. This is Grimp speaking. I have good news and good news. First of all, a big thank you to Lance and Lilith who found the stolen goods and returned them to safety. I promise you all that I will have the studio back and up back up and running shortly. Over and out. Hmm, nice. So uh, everything worked out, worked out in the end. That's nice. Lance and Lilith found the, found the goods. Hmm. Can you believe that? Lance and Lilith bringing back the equipment to the studio. I thought they were real ass assholes. Well, that's a strong word in a kid's game. <laughs> but perhaps one shouldn't be too quick to uh, judge people. Whatever. Uh, I was on my way down to the dance room to practice on street dancing. See you in there. See you there in a few minutes, and I'll show you some nasty moves. Wow, this kid really has a lot of um, adult language. That's pretty strange. Maybe this game is not actually meant for kids. Hmm. Well, it is translated from Swedish, so yeah, they probably just didn't know better back then, I guess. I don't know. Okay, now we're here. So let's get those bodies moving like we've never done anything else. Get in front of that mirror and repeat after me. Let's do this.
Nice. Now what? Nothing. Um, well, it's just... Yeah, leave. <laughs> Stay in the hall and see what happens. Oh. Hey there, loser. I heard that... Oh. Um... Yeah, that is very, very um, offensive. <laughs> I did not expect... Uh, this is just getting worse and worse. Wow. Um, music where you were dan music we were dancing to. It really stinks. But just to show that show you that I have better than you in, uh, I challenge you to a dance battle. Meet me at the project when you're ready. The loser must leave the auditions. Okay. Um, I did not expect them. Okay, <laughs> I did not expect them to use uh, those kind of words. Because, okay, I can understand, like, heavy words, but that is just offensive. I guess the times were different, and like I said before, when, the, like, the Swedish getting translated and stuff, then... Um, but anyway, that is really offensive. Don't use that word, kids. Or whoever is watching. I thought Nerdville was on the other side of town. Let's get down. Step into the ring where, whenever you're ready. Okay, let's do this. What you gotta say about that, Lilith? <laughs> Beaten by a deadbeat. That really stinks. Shucks. Guess I will have to keep my part of the uh, bargain and get out of the addition. See you. Uh, yeah, like I said, don't use that word. Um, I guess it was might have been acceptable in 2006, but it's not 2006 anymore. It's 2020 and that is not acceptable. It is very offensive. Hey, I don't have any quests. What do I do? Yeah, that is... Uh, don't use that word about anyone, okay? What? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was getting confused. This call is not about what you think. I just got off the phone with every a very upset Lilith who claimed that you you forced her to quit the audition by challenging her in some ghetto dance competition. Let me tell you that we don't tolerate this kind of behavior at Star Academy and if you can't convince me that this is all some horrible misunderstanding then you'll be the first student ever to be suspended before they even had the chance to start their education at Star Academy. That was a long sentence. <laughs> wow. Take a breath. Find Kiyomi. Oh, she's in the dance room, isn't she? We need your help, Kiyomi. We're getting suspended. Is it just me? Yeah, I was the only one who danced against Lilith, right? So it's just me. It's no one else. She did what? I'm sorry, but I really can't help you. I've got to get home and make dinner for my family and it has to be ready within an hour. The only thing I can think of is that you could help me uh, help me get some hamburgers from Leonardo. My, mo oh. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was a tongue twister. My mother loves them. Uh, then I would have time to... <laughs> then I would have time, have the time to go with you to see Morris. Okay. I really wonder how you guys react to my commentary. Because this is my first time doing this and uh, there's been a few mistakes and there's been a few like awkward moments in my opinion, I don't know. You ask for talking so this is what you get. <laughs> yeah, this is what Leonardo's look like. It looks pretty familiar. Hey, Brit is standing right there. Why aren't you doing anything? Yeah, this is what Leonardo's looked like before they put it into SSO. It looks pretty familiar. Similar. Uh, I thought, uh, I told you that the first time we don't pay anything and there is no use in performing now. But I'm out of milk. If you can get me some milk from the cafe at the mall, I'll give you a bag of my special burgers. See, we have to do all the dirt work here too. It's not just an SSO. Lisa were just like us one day. Sometime, someday, I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing my senses for the English language or something. <laughs> Is that the guy who flirted with us? He looks like him. Milk? Yeah, sure. We're a cafe, you know, but I don't think I can give it to you for free. If you had some money to give me so that I could explain it to the manager, I'm sure that it's fine. Wait a minute. Are you the... Aren't you auditioning for Star Academy? I thought I saw you get into the auditorium yesterday. Why don't you get up on the stage and sing? I'm sure people will give you enough change to pay for the milk in no time. Yeah, well, if he was at school, he sure sounds like the guy who flirted with us. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. Look at the time. It's nine o'clock and you have to go. I want you to stay, but it's getting late. We both heard mommy say, boy, you better go now. Time's running, seven's coming. Don't put up a fight. Time is up for tonight. We're together, love's forever. Time is here and love is easy. We're forever paired together. Shine wherever we go. We're together, love's Time is here and love is easy. We're forever paired together. Shine wherever we go. Let the flower of your soul fly around and love will grow tonight. Did we get the change? Yeah, we did. Picked up the change. Even though no one were listening. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Hello. Great, you know, you got the most beautiful voice I've ever heard. It's like listening to clouds. It's like the most subtle romantic feeling ever. Oh, ever. <laughs> what? Uh, well, here's the milk you wanted. Please let me know if you want to go out sometime. Uh, yeah, that's the guy who flirted with us. He has no name, has he? I would. It'd be cool to know his name. So, like, see if he showed up in SSO or something. I don't know. Okay, so we got the milk. Let's get back to Leonardo's. And Brittany's still standing there doing nothing. We're doing all the dirty work. Mm -hmm. Good work. Now you can all enjoy Leonardo's milkshake by the Galleon. It's healthy, you know. <laughs> it is? What? Lots of protein and amino acids. Here's the burgers. I made them with extra cheese just for you. We got the burgers. Let's uh, let's roll, Kyomi. Got your burgers for your family, and now you're gonna help us out. Because we did all the dirty work. She could have just gone down and uh, got the burgers herself, couldn't she? She's not. She's not doing anything. She's just standing there and waiting for us to do the thing. <laughs> you did it. That's so great. Thanks. I'll meet you at the auditorium. Okay, so now we're gonna fix this thing. Get unsuspended. If that's a word, uh, it's probably not. <laughs> unsuspended. This girl's just chillin'. I don't know, every time I play these games I notice something different. 
it's really interesting. And now, especially if we get uh, these games into SSO, then or many things from these games is into SSO, then I'd like to see what is in here, <laughs> Easter eggs and stuff. Mm. Well, Kiyomi has convinced me. Seems it was yet another misunderstanding. They seem to be haunting you. Uh, yeah, because we're the main character. If I were you, I'd be a bit more careful with how I express myself. We don't want trouble here at Star Academy. Now it's your turn. Let's uh, get up on that stage and do your best. Remember, there is nothing wrong with failing if you've given it your very best. Oh, so we're performing now. Nice. There we go. <laughs> I had one mistake. Oh well. I made it, so... That was fantastic. When I heard the passion in your voice seep out through the door uh, to the auditorium, I knew they couldn't deny you a place among the final few. You took their breath away, Lisa. You really did. I'm really excited about this. What if we... If you get to the same class... What if you get to the same class together next year? Well, aren't you going to be in the class too? Why are you saying you? <laughs> this English dialogue is kind of interesting, actually. Wouldn't that be just sweet as honey pie? I'm going shopping again. Daddy promised he'd buy me a new dress if I made it through the final round. Why don't you meet me at the cafe in the mall a bit later, Lisa and kill me? I'll text you when I'm done. Sure, I'm just gonna stop by my house with the lunch for my family. See you guys there. Lisa, I'm gonna run back to the studio and put a final magic touches to the song, so that the final performance of this edition will be the one to remember. I'll give you a call when I'm ready and you can pop by and practice. Hmm. <laughs> can anyone hear me? Hello. This is Maurice Bergen speaking, headmaster of Star Academy. I'd just like to uh, take this opportunity to congratulate those fine singers, dancers and musicians, bright stars of the future, and that sounds like Mario, <laughs> bright stars of the future, that have passed the third round of eliminations for the next year's class. Oh, you need to breathe, man. <laughs> That's a long sentence. Now there's only one obstacle remaining, the one we like to call the needle's eye. Many fine students have gotten this far, but it is only the truly brilliant that make it through the needle's eye. As earlier, we will call you when it is your time for a final performance. Nice! Coffee and cookies. Be Brittany at the cafe. Hey, disco! Woof woof! Who left the, left the dog out? Woof woof woof! 
Don't tell me you didn't see that. <laughs> I can't be the only one. What? What are you doing, Disco? Running into me and leading me different places? I don't know. <laughs> woof woof. Yeah, I'm here. Shut up, you filthy mutt, and look at you, Lisa. One stray dog following the other. Get lost. It's funny how she says get lost and then she gets lost. So. <laughs> the key. Does that mean. A key that unlocks a mystery. Find a teacher and tell him or her about the key to the studio that fell out of Lilith's locker. Yeah, so that's that might be the key to the music room or the studio or whatever. Uh, find a teacher. There should be a teacher. Miss Rita is usually in the dance room, right? So I'll just go there. I mean, we're going to the mall anyway, so why not just stop by? Yeah, there she is. Let's talk to her. Tell her what's going on. Hmm, so you say that you found Li that Lilith dropped this key to the studio. I'm not sure if I would make anything of that, and regardless, it's not my table, girl. Go see Mr. Grimp, he's down at Leonardo's having lunch. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Okay, so now we're suddenly going down to Leonardo's again. Lunch interrupted. Sorry, Grimp. I'm gonna come interrupt your lunch. I don't know, I kinda like jumping in this game because we <laughs> don't have it in SSO. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna add it at some point. I don't have any proof, but <laughs> I mean, it's such a basic feature to leave out. They have to add it at some point, come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was an unnecessary sound effect, but I'll roll with it. You say that Lilith dropped a key to the studio. If I find it strange, given that she was the one that found the stolen goods earlier, no, since I gave her the key to the studio as a token of the school's appreciation appreciation for what she did. What do you mean she might have too? And changing numbers on... Uh, hers and Kevin's locker. I'm not sure that I follow, but if you insist, I'll meet you at Kevin's locker to check for the key you say that she took. Um, okay, so apparently she had gotten a key from Grimp, so... Um, we might be wrong. <laughs> There's only one way to figure out. New clothes can be chosen. Yeah, but I don't want to shop anymore in this game. There's not that many cool clothes. There are some, but not a lot. <laughs> we'll do it in the next game instead. I think in the next game we have to change our hairstyle as well. I don't remember. I think so, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, you're slow. Come on. 57, that was Kevin's locker. Wait, what? I swear, 57 was down here earlier. Did they change the position of the closets throughout the game? That's, that's weird, come on. Hmm. There we have a key. Oh, sh no. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm 22 years old, I'm not used to uh, playing kid-friendly games, even though this game is not very kid-friendly, to be honest. Um, yeah, so that was almost a slip-up, but I'll try to stick to a kid-friendly language. So let's see, I'll open both lockers, and I guess that settles it. Uh, home. There's, uh, the, there's, here's the key you thought was missing. Guess you should invest in a pair of glasses. <laughs> You shouldn't go around accusing people. <laughs> what are all these sounds he's making? What? Is he just grumpy? <laughs> uh, and you, and to be honest, I've heard that uh, you've been after Lilith during the entire day. I don't tolerate that kind of behavior. Stop it or you'll, or you'll end up at the wrong end of my drumstick. Is that a threat? 
Hey you, got sexy top, waiting for you at cafe. Guys are going crazy over me, lol, see you. <laughs> yeah, that's Britney, alright? <laughs> Meet Britney at the cafe. Well, let's do that then. I'm sorry, I'm running out of things to say. I'm going blank here. Yeah, we need to get jumping in SSO, honestly. <laughs> there are like some things I'm just really confused about, like why they decided to left it, leave it out, like swimming and jumping. They were in all of the other games, so why? <laughs> I don't know. Hi darling, Dad got me this cutest top, I just want to hug it. The guys at school will go crazy over it. I look just like Cindy in it. Hi there, back again. Hey, it's him again, what? <laughs> I really like your performance earlier this morning. I'm getting off in a few minutes. You wouldn't like to meet at Leonardo's for a shake. See, now he's inviting us out again. She totally would. <laughs> Britney! She'll meet you there. Well, thanks Britney. I didn't even answer, but okay. Guess we'll give it a shot. Date. Ah, guess we'll have a good evening. Um... Friendly reminder that this is actually an official date. I mean, this game... SSO is based on this game and Lisa is having a date in this game, so... <laughs> that's kind of funny. Hi there, ready for a milkshake? I took the liberty of ordering vanilla for us both. That's not a... Uh, that's not advanced enough for you? <laughs> what? I would recommend the banana cookie dough crunch with mint flakes. Okay, we'll have two of those then. That'll be ten dollars then. Dollars? Excuse me, is this not your week? Hey, maybe, may, uh, I'm brainstorming really random stuff right now, but what if this was like before they had your week shillings? Maybe, maybe this was their currency back then, they had dollars. I don't know, that's weird. <laughs> dollars in your week. Sure, wait, just a second. Whoops, seems like I forgot my wallet at home. How embarrassing. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm afraid that I can't give any free drinks, but if Lisa would do a little afternoon dance routine to lighten up the mood uh, in here, I'd be happy to treat you both with two Mona Lisa specials. What do you say? What do you say, Lisa? Uh, I'm saying that this date is not going very well. I mean, you invite me out on a date and then you uh, uh, make me perform for the drinks. That's not a good impression. <laughs> There we go. Can we get the drinks now that I paid for? Hmm. Wow, you girls really know how to dance. In my days, that kind of performance would have gotten anywhere gra uh, anyone grounded for a month. Here are your Mona Lisa special. Enjoy. When you're... Uh, you'll both have... When you're done, you'll both have her mystical smile on your lips. Okay. But we can't sit down and drink them. Huh, okay. Oh. Hi, it's me, Kev. Just wanted to let you know that the song is done now. 
That last performance you did really inspired me. But we've got a little problem. There are no CDs uh, here and I don't want to leave the studio in case something happens. Do you think that you could bring an empty CD? Okay, are we gonna say bye to our date? No? So we're just gonna leave? Well, that makes us no better than him then. <laughs> that was a bad date all around. Guess we were not meant to be. CD. Well, um, okay, let's talk to someone. There is unusually. There's usually. Unusually? What? There's usually CDs available in the library. Try there. Yeah, okay, let's go to the library then. I don't know why I mix up words sometimes. English is not my first language, that's just <laughs> something I do. Got the CD, let's go meet Kevin. Disco is chilling. I know I'm doing small talk right now. I just, I don't want it to get too quiet. <laughs> but at the same time, I kind of want to keep myself on track, you know? Nice, then let's get ready to take off. Uh, get in position now and I'll show you how this should be done. Okay. Oh, I actually had a perfect score. Wow. I didn't realize that. But one thing I did uh, realize while singing is, did you notice that these drums say sands? That's a really cool easter egg, actually. Now, Starshine Legacy was released first, so this is just kind of like a parody of the original games, I guess. So that's a cool easter egg. Phew, I don't know what to say. That was just, just whatever. Here's your CD. Good luck. It would be an honor to be in the same class as you next year. Nice. 
And then? Now what? Oh, it's ringing. Mm. Hello, Lisa. It is time for your audition. We are waiting for you in the auditorium. Okay, so now it's time for the last audition. And hopefully we will make it so that Lisa gets into Star Academy, because that is the goal. So let's talk to Morris Bergen first. See what he has to say. I believe in you. Give it a try. I'm sure that you'll make it this time. The music is strong in you. I can sense it. Oh, he didn't have a quest for us. We could just walk off. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's get into Star Academy. Nice! That was pretty good, actually. I think this is like my personal record. I think uh, my last record was like 55. And that's actually what I got on the music video that I uh, published. Lisa's performance. Let's see what they have to say. I don't know what to say. That was remarkable. For such a young girl, you have the, a very mature voice. Welcome to Star Academy, Lisa. I got accepted too. Isn't it ama amazing? Me too. We're, this is going to be so fab. Us in the same class next year. And me too. You can all be proud of yourself. Together with Lance and Lilith, you have been the strongest talent we've uh, seen in a long, long time. This is going to be one very interesting year. See you in the fall. Woof woof. <laughs> yeah. So we got into Star Academy. Or rather, Lisa did. Uh, okay, so let's roll through the credit while I talk. Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised at how well this uh, playthrough went. I had expected more like stuttering and uh, struggling and everything, but an awkward pauses, not to mention oh great. <laughs> I uh, have almost had a few slip ups, but um, I'd say that I actually did fine, and uh, it was much more fun than I had expected. 
So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I will see you around. Bye.